Hello friends, uh, this is the second tutorial on the video lecture series of web scrapping with the help of Python. So in the last lecture uh, we have seen how to fetch the remote URL with the help of uh, URL open function uh, in a Python uh, with the help of URL lib module of Python. Uh, in this tutorial uh, we will see about how to use uh, beautiful soap library which we have installed into uh, last uh, video tutorial. Uh, uh, let's see what we'll learn uh, in this uh, uh, lecture. So in this uh, uh, tutorial we'll see how to use this beautiful SOAP library uh, to get the content of uh, individual tag like uh, div element content or even h1 element content of uh, what is the title of that page or any kind of uh, element how we can easily extract from the whatever the um, HTML strip you have got with the help of URL open function and we'll see what is the how to use the exception handling while fetching the uh, URL so let's start uh, with coding okay I have already created uh, my development environment on uh, uh, Jupyter so l let us uh, uh, first write the code till uh, what we did into earlier lecture Uh, this is the URL lib library we are uh, importing and uh, there is one more in this lecture we need to write bs4 that is a beautiful soap library and we'll import beautiful soap function okay so we have successfully imported two function URL open and a beautiful uh, soap now let us read this uh, Mm, HTML stream we'll use the same uh, URL what we used in earlier lecture uh, okay and we'll supply as an argument okay so it has uh, we have got every full content of this uh, HTML page in this one in a HTML object here okay let's print it so we'll confirm it we can use the read method of that okay so we have got HTML and inside that H head tag and title and du element h1 element uh, okay so now we want to extract suppose the individual element this d or even h1 element uh, how can we use it because we have a complete uh, this object as a uh, string we can't individually go to the individual element and uh, we can extract it that's where the beautiful soap uh, library uh, plays an important role so let's apply this uh, html stream to the beautiful soap function and it will create and we'll grab it into bs object so what we did actually uh, we have supplied the com complete html uh, string what we got from the url open function we have supplied to the beautiful force soap function and it will create the brand new object uh, bs from where we can easily uh, get the content of individual element okay okay don't worry this is just an uh, uh, warning uh, why this warning because uh, we haven't supplied which parser to use while parsing this html uh, content so if you don't use the any kind of parser it will assume it's a, a default parser better to supply some uh, parser so you won't get any problem there are other parser also available and they have written that uh, based on different environment they are using uh, different parser so here we'll use the lxml parser which parse this html string and put it into uh, bs object okay so error warning has gone okay so now suppose we want to see the content of uh, this h1 element or even a title element title so we'll just write from this bs object we can grab h1 and 
we can print it okay let's first print bs no content is there Hi friends, this is uh, issue with uh, some kind of uh, uh, session. So uh, don't worry, we'll use uh, another Python notebook and uh, uh, we'll paste all content there. Hopefully, we'll get uh, answer. okay now suppose we want to print the h1 tag so we can use this h1 on the top of this bs object okay hopefully we have got it so that is the interesting title now uh, print full uh, this ba uh, html stream So there are some issues uh, with a uh, different different cell what we are running it has an issue with uh, some kind of session but uh, we already know about that uh, this is the h1 tag and there is a div element inside that and uh, uh, so suppose we want to extract the title so we just put the bs dot title okay so we got the useful page that's what here it's useful page the title is useful page okay so now it is uh, coming up with the uh, tag, uh, tag also associated with now we just need the string uh, uh, means the actual content inside that tag just put the uh, string at the end of the and it will return just the content okay so it's working fine uh, so uh, that is how we can grab the individual content we can get the div element content also bs dot div okay so it has given a full div content here this is what the div content is yes. okay uh, suppose uh, we want uh, full body content so bs dot body dot string oh, so, uh, on a body yes okay this is the body so full body uh, tag uh, it has uh, displayed it so in this way we can use the beautiful soap uh, and uh, we can uh, mm, uh, extract the individual component out of it so uh, this is the first step and uh, this is the second one how we'll use the exception handling while fetching the url uh, why this exception handling is required friends uh, because uh, yeah, this is all uh, uh, content you are fetching from the remote URL and you never know that uh, whether uh, that URL is correct or not whether even if the URL is correct then uh, it may happen that site is uh, uh, and down or uh, it may take little more uh, uh, time and it will be difficult to get the content within a, a small uh, limited amount of time uh, so every time we put this exception handling so that your code won't break and it will continue uh, ahead so let us see with the same uh, example here uh, uh, let's try with this one this part only this much part and we need to import url lib 
dot http error import star okay now you know that this is a completely correct uh, uh, url so you won't face any problem okay we got some uh, error okay this is the issue with uh, some function okay rather than putting here we'll put this star here and we'll go ahead okay so it has successfully fetched the content now suppose let's keep this variable aside and we'll put some random uh, URL and it doesn't exist on the internet okay so it has thrown uh, some kind of IO error that uh, this kind of URL doesn't exist so how exception handling uh, will be helpful in this case so what we'll do here we'll try put uh, whole code into try catch block and we'll uh, accept it as a HTTP exception HTTP error exception as a e and we'll print it okay, okay so we have catch those exception here they are telling that http error is not defined so mm, might be some issue but this is a complete correct code i will uh, correct into uh, this code into next lecture but this is where how you can handle the exception handling with uh, by putting the code inside this try and uh, you can catch those exception into accept block uh, that's all uh, for this lecture in a subsequent lecture we'll see how to extract uh, different uh, links from the uh, individual uh, wiki pages and uh, how you can do uh, manipulation on the top of that uh, little ex advanced level of uh, uh, scrapping how to get uh, tags uh, from the based on the class or even different attributes and uh, ID uh, thank you guys for the watching and uh, please do like uh, comment and uh, subscribe the uh, uh, channel. I hope you enjoyed this video.